Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? It is Monday and um I'm half asleep still. <laughs> what are you doing, Sutty? I don't think so. This cat is driving me bonkers. I keep having a run up and down the the hallway because it's, excuse me, floor balls are squeaky I think. It keeps wanting to get back in there and just shut the door. Um it keeps wanting to go into Bella and Bella is getting neutered in the next few weeks. Because that's the only time they can book her in. Great. Anyhow, so I apologise for not being up doing a video for the past few days. I really did have a bad flare up and I could barely move. I could hardly speak. I was just absolutely shattered. Anyhow, I'm back. And yeah, let's get into this conversation right now. So, things have been happening behind the scenes, all right? Uh, nothing to do with me, but there's certain things that's been going off for my daughter and her school, and her school, yeah. Anyway, I've decided to pull her out of school. Um, if I could talk about it, I would, but if they're watching, then I'd be, um, <laughs> yeah, in trouble. But I pulled her out of school, doing some off school, so I'm just looking for tutors now to do a maths and English, and, I'm going to try and do the rest because I've got the paper and pens out ready to do a timetable. Uh, I'm not I'm not experienced by any means, but I'm going to go with the floor and you know what I mean. It's like what topics does she want to learn about? Because I know what she wants to do after she leaves school. She'll become a mechanic. I'm like, yay, free, free guy, a free person to do fix my car. Yeah, she's into cars. So I'm going to work around a little bit around that, but I'm going to still follow up. I've got a school diary, so I'm going to still follow some of the um, things on there. Um, so she's still doing certain things, but I'm going to start doing some, like, things subjects on things that she likes to and that she's interested in if you if you get what I mean so I'm, I'm getting out of breath <sighs> I also nearly ended up in a &E at the weekend <laughs> I'm looking it scared it scared me so I got scared and it scared my son as well um now let me know as well guys do you struggle with this because I, I need to go to the doctors but I'm scared that they're gonna just say it's part of fibro Part of fibro. I'm sick of hearing that. It's part of fibro. Anyhow, so what's it with Jiggy Bob? Um, yeah, I was choking, and it's happening more regularly. I am eating. I am chewing my food properly, but then it sometimes it just gets stuck. Right, like about. It feels like it's gets stuck in the back of my throat. Then it feels like it's getting wedged there, and I'm looking in your eye for. My life flashed before my eyes. I'm not kidding. I'm not like it scared me basically, and I was trying to cough it up, but it was, and I couldn't breathe. I was, and then obviously the panic sets in, doesn't it? So my son's like whacking me on the back, and eventually I cough <clears throat> like that, like that constantly, and I managed to get it up. It was just some crisps. Um, probably teach me I'm not eating crisps when I'm trying to diet, but diet's out the window right now because I've got a lot more things to worry about than that. But I'm still a bit tired. Though. But let me know in the comments below, guys. If you, you people that suffer with fibro, do you choke on your food regular? Because mine's coming a problem right now, and I won't. It won't be bothered if it was just now and again. But it's coming happening more often, and I, I I'm looking after I cough, got it up. The back of my throat felt so swollen and sore. I'm like, ugh, because I had a swallow. I was drinking water and I'm like, no, I don't, didn't feel right. But yeah, the, I didn't want to come on and start complaining about fibro or flare because I probably all get fed up of hearing about it. Anyway, so that was it. I was laid up. And with the heat as well, I was like, <sighs> I'm I'm one of them that can't sit out in the heat for too long. I'll come out, talk to nervous. Oh, Millie, you scared me then. So I look at that dog. That's all my stuff getting ready to do. Um, I'll solve that over there. Oh, it's Libby's trainers. That's my, my folder there getting ready to do a timetable and get some research done. 
and my car is going to the garage this week because the brakes need redoing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sick of hearing it. Every time I, I, I brake, I'll pull up and then the handbrake needs doing. I'm not having any luck with this booming car, I'll tell you now. I mean, I've had them, the brakes got done last year. Um, so, I've, you know, it's time for some new ones. So I might as well get it all done at once all at once and then it's done no i don't have to worry about that i do need to take it to somewhere else to get it realigned with all the wheels because i feel like it's moving off so sorry I'm, i don't know i'm just getting oh, oh, shake that off I'm starting feeling a bit tired when i'm talking to you then so, <laughs> let me sit down let me sit down oh. i'm gonna start watching that um Baby reindeer. I started watching a little bit. Now I thought oh, it's boring, but I've been seeing a lot of it on YouTube. Uh, like it's a true story, and I've been seeing a lot of hearing a lot about it. So I'm going to. I think later on, when I've got a bit of spare time, I'm going to sit down and watch it. Yeah, and see what it's all about because I'm hearing so much things about it. I thought, well, I'm not going to miss out on that. So yeah. <gasps> Overnight as well, so I went out for a little bit just to, you know, like you do on a night and it's nice and cool. I thought, right, I'll go out for a little bit. Oh my god, I've never seen one before. I've only seen them on TV or film. <laughs> I saw a massive badger. It just boom. I was just packed up, just what looking out and what can you? Huge! It just shot across the road. This little, this guy had his headphones and walking across. He he nearly wet his pants because it scared him. Oh my lot! And then I saw baby rabbit. Um, yeah. And yesterday I managed to capture the sky, which were like it was about coming up eight o'clock, I think, last night. I just went out for a little drive, and um, the sky was nice and purpley and bluey, and just looked, looked really nice. You couldn't. See, I tried to capture the bit where you could see the hair crafts going, you know, that white line, but my camera will not picking it up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you right now because I've got to keep a start in the lurk. Pardon me, both at the same time then. Um, apologies for that. I'm going to get into the schoolwork and I will catch up with you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And... Pop a comment down below and let me know what you're doing for your today or what you've been up to over the weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.